Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk about ways to stay on track with your financial goals. There are so many temptations all the time to spend money on products, on holidays, on the next cool thing and even going to a supermarket you are constantly tempted to spend money you really shouldn't be spending. I used to find it really hard to stay on track with my goals and not spend that money and put it towards debt, put it towards investing and things like that. So I'm just going to take you through the top ways that I found that have helped me to stay on track with my financial goals. So the first, first, first thing, and this will be a really obvious one, but bear with me, but you have to find your why. This will make everything else that I'm about to say a lot easier. But why are you having these goals? You know, what is driving you towards having these goals? So for me, obviously, if you've been following me, you know that my why is I want to be financially independent. I want, I have this whole plan to build my house in Poland and all that kind of stuff. So that for me is my why. So once you've done that, let's get into the more practical aspect of ways to stay on track with your financial goals. The thing that has worked for me the most, and it might seem really silly, but it's actually been one of the most helpful ways for me to keep consistent and not make silly decisions, is to set my phone and desktop backgrounds on my laptop to something that is related to my why. So as an example, I'm gonna show you. My phone, you can see here, is basically my land in Poland. My laptop background is the project of the house that I'm going to build. And the way that this works is you are constantly reminded of your why and it sounds cheesy and corny but honestly it works i'll be out shopping and i will look at my phone and instantly be reminded here's my land that i want to build on and it makes that decision process a lot easier this could also work with things like vision boards i'm in the process of creating one i'm really excited i've wanted one for ages but I've had no way of printing things because I don't have a printer at home. But now I have a way of printing and I'm really excited to do a vision board because I do think it will help me as well. But those are like a good hack of if you don't have a vision board or anything like that. The next thing is to budget at least 12 months in advance. Now, this may sound like a lot of work, but honestly it's not. It might take a little bit of work up front, but I have my budget template, which I use to budget three years ahead. I'm not even kidding. People think I'm crazy, but it shows me the impact that my decisions now have on my finances later on. It's really not that hard to set up. I basically drag things across. If you know, I've got a video showing you my budget spreadsheet. I've also got a link down below in the description if you just want to buy it. Um, but obviously if you're a wizard Excel, feel free to set up your own. Bear with me two seconds. Oh, noisy neighbors everywhere. Anyway. This has really, really helped me. Honestly, I've sent the spreadsheet to my friends in the past and they've all said it's helped them massively. Having a monthly spreadsheet is great, but actually having a budget that shows you your finances X months ahead is just a game changer. You can plan ahead for events. You can know how much you're gonna save. This isn't in the one that I sell, but I've made extra tabs on my one where I pull through my savings amounts by 2023, which is the goal of when I want to build this house. And every time I change my mind on like, you know, I'm going to spend X amount and therefore this has to come from my savings, otherwise I'm going to go into overdraft. I can see that savings amount for Poland going down and stuff like that. So yeah, basically game changer. The next thing is to make comparisons. You might be wondering what I mean. Basically what I mean by that is I try to compare every purchase I make with how much that money will be worth for me in terms of my why. As an example, I might think I want this item that costs £100. What would I get for £100 once I move to Poland and achieve my why? Actually £100 is as an example, a lot of dog and cat food. It might be a dining table. It might be 20% of my bills for the month. You know, little comparisons like that where you know that actually is this instant gratification now 
worth what I could get for this money down the line? And the answer might well be yes. You know, this isn't something to stop you spending completely. You still have to live your life, but it's to stop you making purchases that you're going to regret and it's to keep you on track. This is the whole point, right? It's keep you on track with your goals. Next thing is to track your progress. So this is slightly different from the budgeting one, but this is more in terms of having a way to keep track of all your goals against a certain amount. So a good example of this would be the video I made about setting up an emergency budget. I've set up a calculation that tells me the percentage that I've achieved of the emergency budget. And that just, it makes, it makes things more real. Your savings then aren't sort of just something you're not thinking about or your, or your debt, you know, if you're paying off debt, have a spreadsheet where you calculate how much you've paid off already. This is something that I had when I had my debt as well. I literally had a list of every single debt I owed, the starting amount, the amount I've already paid off and the amount left. And then underneath I had a calculation that said, this is the percentage of debt you've already paid off and therefore this is how much you have left. And this was really motivating, especially as I got past the 50% mark, it started becoming more and more motivating. The next and final tip I have for you is to consume helpful and inspiring content. Now, what I mean by that is rather than watching Netflix, watch things like YouTube videos of people who are on the same goals as you, read books, listen to podcasts, you know, surround yourself by inspiring people and be constantly reminded of the things that you can have. With this one, it's really important to be careful because you don't wanna get into this negative cycle of what often happens with social media. For example, you know, with things like looking at people's Instagrams when it comes to fitness, <laughs> quite often it might come as like a negative thing where you start feeling bad about yourself. Make sure you don't fall into that trap. Um, I've not found this to be as much of an issue in the money community, but just be wary. Make sure that everything you're consuming is motivating you to keep on track, you know. Follow other people's journeys where they post about, you know, I made this decision, I've paid off this debt, this is what I've achieved by saving this money. It will stop you from forgetting why you're doing this. So those are basically my main ways that I stay on track with my goals. And since I've implemented all of these, honestly, my life has completely changed. Everything is just so different now. And I hope that at least one of these will inspire you to make sure that you stay consistent with your goals. I hope this video helps you. And if you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up and I will see you in the next video. Bye.